Okay, guys, um, I'm going to briefly go over Lesson 74 homework here. Um, I'm not going to collect this for a grade today, um, just so the sub has, doesn't have to do it. And you guys weren't really very well prepared for it, so um, I think it'd be a little bit unfair for me to collect it for a grade. So I'm just going to go over it and try and explain what we wanted you to get out of it. Um, so if you look at the following tables, we do table A, table B, and table C. Now, obviously, they're all different tables. Um, it asks me to, to analyze what's going on. So um, in part one here, it says table A is X increases the Y value dot dot dot. So what happens is, as X increases? Well, um, we see as X increases, the Y value also increases. Um, and if we look at it, we see that it's increasing by three. So the Y value um, increases by three. Okay, so it increases by three every time. Table B now, all right, as X increases, what happens to the Y value? Well, it looks like on this one, um, the Y value is multiplying by three every time. So as X increases, the Y value is uh, multiplied by three. Sorry about the handwriting. Um, okay, and table C, now table C is a little bit weird. We haven't seen one like table C, so let's see what happens. So. We go, some, go from 4 and we decrease by 3 down to 1. And then we decrease down to 0. But then as we keep going, we increase back up to 1 and then increase back up to 4. So let's describe that just by saying that um, the Y value goes down. Uh, it goes down. Oh, no. It's okay. Uh, then back up. All right, hopefully that works. Um, all right, so now let's look at the next questions. What do you think the graph would look like for each of the tables? Um, well, ho hopefully we can sort of, uh, we sort of recognize what these should look like. So um, table A, we know that's gonna, that's linear, so that's gonna be a uh, straight line. Um, and table B, that's going to be exponential growth, so we expect that to curve um, upward. And then table C, let's think about table C. So we expect table C to go down, then back up. Okay, so, um, and it's not going down at a steady rate either. So it goes down three here, but then only one here, and then goes back up one and then three. So maybe we'll expect this to... Now, I also know what it's going to look like already, so maybe I'm cheating. Um, but let's expect this to curve down, then back up. Let's hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, okay, so we already said this. One of the tables is linear. Well, we know that it's A. Um, now, we went over this last time in class. Well, okay, so for if you're 4B, we didn't go over this. But for the other classes, we did. Um, let's try and remember how we write a linear equation. So we do y equals, and then mx plus b. So m is the slope, and we see the slope here is 3, so it's increasing by 3. So it's going to be 3x, and then uh, our y-intercept is 11. So it's going to be 3x plus 11. Okay, 1 is exponential. That's going to be b, because um, it's a multiplying pattern, not an adding pattern. All right, write down which table you think is exponential, write an equation. So the equation, y equals, okay, now remember, for exponentials, we start off with the starting point, 18. Okay, so y equals 18, and then we do our common multiplier. So our common multiplier here again is 3, so we're multiplying by 3 every time. 3 raised to the x. All right, cool, front page is done. Sorry if this video ends up getting a little bit long. All right, no. so now, for this part, you were supposed to type things into your graphing calculator. Now, I don't have a graphing calculator at home. I know most of you guys didn't have graphing calculators at home either. That's why I'm not collecting this, okay? Um, but let's type this equation into my Desmos calculator. So, uh, number three, 3x plus 11. Let's see if I can do something fancy with the iPad here. Oh, oh no, settings? That's not what I want. Desmos, there we go. Um, let's see. Yeah. All right. So we said, uh, y 
equals 3x plus 11, right? Okay, so there's our graph for this one. Um, let's do this. Let's go. And then we'll go Desmos Notability. Notability. There we go. Um, oh, it wanted values. Gosh dang it. Um, okay, so I'm going to tell you guys a secret. The values you get are going to be the exact same as these values. Um, my bad. So this thing, I know my equations right. The values should have been the same as what you got here. Okay. Um, number six, same thing. The values would have been the same as what we saw above. So let's just skip these. Um, okay. So now, oh, compare the tables. My tables match. Yay. I know my tables match because I'm the teacher. Um, all right. If your tables don't mass, match, ask for help. Once they match, type the equation you got. Okay. So now this is the part where we type the equation into the graph. So we want to say, does our description that we wrote for number two match the graph on the calculator? So our des description said it was going to be a straight line, right? And now we could have said more. We could have said a straight line going uphill um, that's going to cross the, the y-axis at 11. Um, but really, we just want to say, is it a straight line? So let's um, go back to Desmos and, oh, look, it's a straight line. So yes. All right, now let's type the equation for number four in. All right, so let's do that. Y equals 18 times three to the X. All right, so let's go back to Desmos. Um, y equals 18, 18, there we go, times three. And how do we, let's go more. No, not like that. That's what I want. Give me that. Gosh, dang it. Yeah, there we go. Got it. 18 times 3 to the x. Hey, look at that. We have an exponential uh, graph. And that's what we expected to see, right? So we expected it to be a curved line. Yes. Great. All right, try not to make this not to make this the longest video in the world. Okay, now this says the equation for table C is y equals x squared. So we're going to type that in, and we're going to see if our description matches. Now remember, our description we wanted it to curve down, then curve back up. All right, so I'm going to type in y equals x squared and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to go y equals x squared. Hey, look at the green line. It curves down and then it curves back up. It makes almost like a U shape. Now, this is exactly what all of our exponential graphs are going to, or excuse me, um, our quadratic graphs are going to look like. So anytime we have this X squared in our equation, we're going to have a graph that looks like this. So let's go back, notability, and hey, look at that. I thought it was going to curve down and curve back up, and it did. Um, so what it says, this is quadratic. This Y equals X squared that's quadratic. Um, and so it says, what does the equation have in it? Well, obviously what it has is it has this squared. We've never had this squared on an X before in our equation. Um, so if we go down here, it says we want to circle the linears. Okay, well, linears, we can see that's a linear because it's an adding. Um, this is a linear. Um, we're just not adding anything on. Uh, and it wants me to put a box around the exponentials. So exponentials are obvious where, obviously where X is an exponent. There's my exponentials. And then my stars. Okay, so how do I know that it's a quadratic? If I have X squared, then I know that it's a quadratic. Is my star not, not showing up? Come on, star. There it is. Okay. X squared tells me that it's a quadratic. All right. There's my explanation of, the, of that, that part of the homework. The rest of the key um, is going to be up on the smart board for you. All right. There we go. First video done.